Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are headed to E-Knives in Hickson, Tennessee. 4725 Adams Road, suite number 103. They're actually Chattanooga. Um, Clayton and Coco are the husband and wife. They're very, very active. They do all kinds of things to stay relevant and press themselves into local community and travel and go to shows. I don't know that I've seen another couple that is as rambunctious and tears it up as much as they do. So we really appreciate having them on. Factory Direct, let's see the actual gorgeous knives that are headed their way today. All right, we'll start with these infractions here. You know, there's something about this bank scroll filigree that just, for me, it's got a nice Western appeal to it. Just traditional Old West, very pretty blue handles with bronze bank scroll, bronze bank scroll, bronze hardware and a brushed and bronze clip and a little flourish on the back. Very classic and beautiful and traditional. Second infraction has a two-tone peaks and valleys. It's violet down in the recesses, so you can see that in the grooves and in the details. And then it's brushed silver on the facets. A brushed violet clip. So a little more feminine. Very nice. This one here doesn't look like much. It is bead blasted blue. So it's got that nice, very smooth, consistent matte appearance. It's got a, you know, I like it because it gives extra grip and I know there are lots of customers out there asking, what can you do to your knives to give more grip? Well, bead blasting does the trick. Flamed hardware and a brushed and flamed clip, very subtle upgrades and some good functionality on that. <clears throat> as far as color combinations, this is one of my all time favorite. A brilliant blue, this is one of the multi etched undertone. Um, I just love the milky color down in this groove and then it's brushed bronze facets. Again, this is peaks and valleys with bronze hardware and a brushed and bronze clip. It looks iridescent almost. We have a midi marauder and you know, let's do this because I we rarely get the chance to see both the slim and the midi side by side. The midi is slightly, the overall length is, I'm gonna say probably a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. The midi is, has different facets. So if you are old school Medford, you know that these two grooves are what we used to machine into the handles on the full thickness Marauder. And then the Marauder H had this similar type of Art Deco facet. So the midi Marauder, and again, the thickness is something to take into consideration as well. The slim is called slim for a reason, and the midi has 0 0.190, 0 0.187, so same thickness on the blade and handles. The midi here sports, sports the uh, Second Amendment shall not be infringed, tumbled chassis, tumbled blade, blue hardware, and a brushed blue clip. And the slim has that multi-etch fade. I love this one in particular. That green fade to blue is very rich. <clears throat> And then the shine, uh, the brushed clip with the same fade has a nice contrast to the handles. So slim midi and a midi. Genesis T with one of the best starry, starry nights I've ever seen. I mean, he really nailed it. Andrew is awesome. He does our anodizing, he does our flaming, and he is just hot shit. So starry, starry night, faced in flame, PVD drop point blade, PVD hardware and spring, and then a gorgeous clip to complement. I believe they have two of these headed their way and they're both are equally as stunning. This one here, not for everybody, but I know guys that are gonna die. This like ectoplasmic, uh, crazy green, awesome. Peaks and valleys. I think we were calling this AKA the Hulk. <laughs> PVD Tonto blade and hardware and clip. So black and green. That's gonna appeal to a lot of guys I know out there. Another bead blasted um, handled knife, bead blasted bronze on this Genesis. So I like that it's dark, it's not real reflective. The most reflective parts are the pivots, but uh, PVD drop point blade and breaker. Just a standard bronze clip. You can see the uh, contrast between that and the bead blasted bronze handles, but nice and rich and thick. And again, it really does provide nice grip. It's got a good texture. This one here may not look by, like much, but this Proxima DLC blade 
And this is black anodized handles. And then not only did they pinstripe around the perimeter, but they hit these tiered steps to make it look even more Art Deco than it is to begin with. Bronze hardware, brushed and bronze clip. I mean, it just harkens back to that Deco era. I love that. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Check out eknives.com. Stop by their place. Give them a call. Whatever you do, reach out to Coco and Clayton. They're awesome. We love them. Keep watching the videos. And until the next time, Happy New Year. <laughs>